Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Noxious Weeds, the game that makes farming a thousand times more dangerous despite the cutesy loading screen. Anyway, this game plays like a vampire survivor's clone except for it plays a little bit differently in that there's, can you see there's like little carrots spotted about? So I can get that guy to help me. So there's another one there. So these two carrots are shooting carrots at other things. You'll notice on the floor there's orange XP, but there's also, there's also rain droplets and I can use them to water plants like that to harvest them. And basically that's added this little icon okay. down in the bottom left. And that gives me an upgrade at the end of the day. So it's the end of the day now because we leveled up we have an upgrade that little arrow down there and i think i'm gonna increase my attack speed by three percent and then this is where that harvesting comes in so because i did the harvest of the day i watered a bush i get to take an eggplant what are the odds of that <laughs> now that gives me plus five percent luck at the cost of two attack speed now, luck gives you more rare items, but it also increases the odds of seeing water about the place. So in turn, that should give me more of these harvests of the day in the long run. So let's take that. And then I get to pick another weapon. So I can either upgrade my trout so I can give it 5% critical chance. And criticals in this game do double damage. Alternatively, I might actually take the machete. It's a slow slash, but it's it does 200 damage to nearby enemies. Anyway, this game has night cycles, so we're now on to the first night. And at night time, there's not only different enemies, but you'll notice there's none of those bushes about. No, but what there is, there's these cactuses. No, cacti. Um, and every time you destroy a cacti, you get a load of water, um, which obviously we can't spend because there's not, none of those bushes about. But the water can be used the next day. So basically, you want to use night times to try and get as much water as possible. So let's head up to those cacti, get all the water. And then you can see up here, we gained 42 water over the night so we can spend that tomorrow on watering bushes now but first because i leveled up i get to pick another one of these now what i might do here i might just increase my my luck again i want to be a lucky boy and then for my tools of the trade i could i could upgrade my machete so it does it doesn't increase critical damage or maybe i want one of them last shankler is that a shoe? But it's a homing shot dealing 170% damage and it bounces. Yes, please. Now, the other thing this game has is a weather cycle. So today is just a clear sky. So it'll be the same as what yesterday was like, which means normal enemies about normal carrots to, to help join you on your quest to take down the veg that's revolting against us. I'm just a humble farmer. Now, there's also different types. You can see there's like a mushroom and a radish. They're all helping me. We want to water as many bushes as we can in the day because that will give us extra upgrades. So there's another one for 17. You can also do trees. They cost double, um, but they give you a choice of three upgrades and occasionally some better ones as well. Anyway, we leveled up once today. I don't actually like dodge I'm not that fast on range or the life steal. So I'm going to re-roll. And nice, because we're lucky we got two greens there. I'm going to take the 2 HP regen. Because yeah, at the moment we're regening no health. That will give us 2 HP every single second. Uh, I then might use the apricot to turn some of my luck into speed. Thank you. Oh, and then a lime. I can, I can reduce my critical chance, but increase my attack speed. So if I do that, my critical chance is now minus 5%. Anyway, I'm then going to upgrade my boot so it bounces twice. And then we're on to night two. So again, we've just got to try and focus on hunting down the cacti to get a load of water. So there's, they are dotted all over the place, which is good. Ah, just got to be a little bit careful of the enemies. Are they avocados shooting like lasers at me. I've actually, I've never liked avocados to be fair. So I, I, I understand why they're doing that. But yeah, basically, I'm just going to try and get to all the, all the cactuses that I can. Stop saying cactuses, Matt. <laughs> all the cacti that I can so I can get as much water as I can. I'm nearly up to 100 water. Oh, I got to 96. Anyway, the red, which is the rarest color is 5% lifesteal. So lifesteal is just a chance to heal 2 HP every time you hit an enemy. Uh, so considering we're regenning 2 a second anyway, is that really worthwhile? I mean, it probably does add up, so I will take it. Mostly because it's shiny. Uh, I'm then going to increase my luck by 8% as well. And then I think I'm going to increase my... Let's do my trowel, my original weapon. Okay, so today's forecast is rainy. So this is the weather I was talking about. So puddles will slow you down, but water will constantly spawn on the ground. And remember, water is the is the resource that we want. Because uh, look, then we can water trees like that. So bottom left, you can see I've got a little tree icon. If I water another one, I've got two trees down there now. I can then go over to this bush. And uh, basically, the more of them I have stacked up in the bottom, the more upgrades I'll get at the end of the day. 
Uh, but for now, though, I've got to make sure I survive till the end of the day. So I will be trying to, like, summon as many of these, like, carrots and stuff as I can. Because they're little minions that will help me. Uh, the broccoli, by the way, they, they regen your health a little bit. So, oh, man, look how much water there is. Look how much water there is. Let's get another bush on the goat and get that bush as well. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, more water, more water. There we go. Okay, that was pretty good. What I might do here, rather than taking the greens, just take the damage. So we go from 33 damage to 35 we got three harvests of the day and then two of the tree ones. So harvest of the day, we get extra life steal and stuff. Oh, when we do harvest stuff, we shoot eight beans. Then another apricot, so I'll take that. And then the, the tree harvest of the day, this is where we get to pick between three. And generally, they are better as well. So out of these, I think it might be best to take the white grape. That just gives me more, more HP regen and less dodge in the day and night. For our other one, I think we're going to go with the overripe banana. It's so brown. That costs three dodge, which is the chance to miss an attack completely. Uh, but we get four damage and 5% critical. And then going to max upgrade my trowel. So that's now a red weapon. It does 20% critical chance. So one in five hits will do double damage. Nice. And um, remember, it's nighttime now. So I want to get those cactuses. But oh, what are they? They're horrible. There's like sunflowers with spider legs. So we want to dodge out the way of them. They seem to like aim at me with lasers and then just, well, they just try and ram us, which I don't like. So let's get some mushrooms. I think the mushrooms like, yeah, they shoot in all direction every so often. So we definitely want those guys to help us. They're really fun guys. Um, and aside from that, again, it's just trying to get as much water so we can water some plants tomorrow in the day. Right, we leveled up twice in the night. So we get two of these upgrades. Is it worth going for critical chance or do I just stick with what I know and like increase my luck? I like luck. Let's go with luck. I'm then going to do the health regen as well. So we're now regening four health a second. I'm also going to increase my machete to level one. Nice. So today's forecast is a clear sky. So it should be a reasonably easy day. Now let's water that tree. Get that mushroom on our side. Water that bush. Get that radish to help us. Oh, there's another bush there as well. So we should have quite a lot of upgrades today. Come on, carrot. Come join the cause. Come turn on your own kind. There's another mushroom there. Is a mushroom like a vegetable? There's a proper little horde going on. Let me get that bush. I need to pick up all the XP I earned earlier. Here it all is. Here it all is. Pick it all up. Pick it all up. All right. Ah, uh, come on, survive. Survive, survive. We're good. We're good. Okay. We leveled up once. So because our luck's so high, we get to pick between two greens and a red. The red means I take 10% less damage. So I think that's probably the one to go for here. And then look, we got three harvests of the days and uh, the tree one as well. So 6% chance for double knockback. Sounds good. Swap some attack speed for critical chance hit. Yeah. And ignore damage oh, one time per day. Decent. And then for our tree harvest, we can swap defense for speed. Don't think that's worthwhile. We can increase our pickup range by 25%. That could actually be worthwhile. Or the orange on hit 10% chance to deal 100% damage. Could actually be quite useful, the old orange. But pickup range, imagine all that extra XP I'll get. Yeah, I'm going for that. The chopper chopper. Yeah, I'm then going to max up my machete. So that does two slashes this time. And then we go on to the night where there's a clear sky. So night time, we've got to get the, the cactus. Oh, no, the cactus have come to life. <laughs> They're like big and angry. So yeah, they shoot. I think they shoot spikes at us. I guess that's evolution at its finest. I'm going to try and get as many mushrooms to help me out as possible. And oh, there's a carrot there. But there's also a... Ah, the scary men. They're like really strong, those guys. Right, we'll just run away, run away. That's it. Just stay alive. Stay alive is the key. Focus on cacti if we can. But generally, stay alive. Always stay alive. That's the key to any game like this. Anyway, the tactic very much worked. I got two, two level up upgrades. And this first one, they're all red. So I think I've got to go with the damage there. My damage at the moment is only 41. So plus six is huge. And then the next one, do I add more HP regen? I think I do. And then I think I'm going to upgrade my boot. So that is maxed out. It bounces twice now. So down the bottom, you can see I've got three weapons. They're all fully maxed out. They're in red. Uh, I've got three more slots remaining, so I can have three more weapons. So yeah, these guys I don't like. They're very strong. It seems, though, my my like machete slice is really good against them. Um, what I'm going to do, though, I've got 124 water. So I'm going to water two trees if I can. Let's get that broccoli helping me. Right, there's a tree there. There we go. And then I've got 19 water remaining. So if I can pick up a load of water, I may be able to water a bush. 
But they all look radish and uh, broccoli next to each other down there. Oh, and there's the bush, which they can't afford. So I've got the bush. Ah, run away, run away. <laughs> I got a little bit greedy there. There's the sunflower spiders as well. I'd really hate those enemies. Ah, they're terrifying. They're terrifying. All right, just run, just run. Just stay alive, Matt. Just stay alive. That's what you got to do. Ah, don't run into the laser. Okay, we're good. We're good. We survived. Oh, that was getting stressful. Uh, I'm going to take a leak. Not like that. So we got 6% chance to double knockback. And then out of these ones, I feel like that would be good if I had increased my range. But my range, I've done nothing with it. So the long gun, no point getting that. I'm going to get a free broccoli and increase the healing of all of them. I also increased my life steal and I added the sickle weapon. Now, today's forecast is a dangerous encounter. So basically, there's going to be a boss here. There's my free broccoli, by the way. So there's the boss. It's a cactus. Let's get some veggies to help us out. I don't know if we're going to be able to take it down, if I'm honest. The health bar is pretty huge on it and its attack is pretty strong. I'm not really doing any damage. You can see my new sickle like flying about every so often. But, oh, the cactus is moving now. It's moving. <laughs> so I will... I will try. Oh man, no, it took a lot of damage. Yeah, I didn't I didn't manage to get enough damage on it. So yeah, unlike Bounty of One, where you have to kill the boss to progress, this one is like a, just a bonus thing. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. I'm out of these. I think we'll just take the 10 HP. Uh, then I'll upgrade my sickle. So we're throwing three of them rather than two. And then today's forecast is a clear sky. Uh, I don't have any water. Oh, I do have water now. I was about to say I don't have any water to get another harvest. But uh, just got very lucky with some there. All right, and then we just got to dodge out the way. These enemies are getting strong. I feel like I need more, more attack damage as soon as I can. Anyway, our upgrade, I guess we take the red one just because it's red. And more HP. We're up to 250 max HP now. Pretty good. I might actually spend the 5% luck for the, just for the regen really. Not the max HP. So I'll take that. And then, oh, butternut squash. 50% damage on enemies above 90% health. So that will really help me like one hit kill. So yeah, definitely take the butternut squash. And then do I do the sickle or maybe the shears? I think that might help me get a boss next time. Cut the enemy with the most HP for 175% damage. Yes. All those lovely cacti just waiting to be hacked down. All right, anyway, oh, do I take the 10% defense? That's quite a big increase. I do want the damage, but 10% damage reduction is huge. I'll be 20% in total. Yeah, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the defense this time. So I've got nearly 200 water now. So let's find some trees. There they are. They cost 67 a piece. Not ideal. By the way, there's loads. There's loads of lasers about. Also, what's that? Oh, what did that do? I just got something. I don't know what it did. <laughs> anyway, potassium for damage. I think it's time we increase our damage. The lemon gets some attack speed at the cost of max HP. Yep. And then harvest of the day. I think we'll take another lemon. That sounds good. And then, oh, we got, got two more remaining. I forgot about this. I think the orange, 10% chance to deal 100% damage. Then the radish, a free radish, and then more chance to spawn them. And they get 15% move speed. Yes. And then going to make my shears really good. 250% damage. Uh, today it's raining though, so we got to watch out for the puddles. Uh, there's my broccoli. There's my radish though. All right, anyway, with water everywhere, we are we are flushing the stuff now. Over 200 water that round. Uh, I'm going to upgrade my sickle so I throw four of them. My five weapons are now max upgraded. Today's forecast is a clear sky. Oh, I didn't actually level up yesterday. That's disappointing. It's, ah, so many enemies. <laughs> Get a bush or two as well while we're here. There's another bush there. Another carrot. Oh my goodness, there's so many enemies. I need a broccoli. They, they help heal me. There's another radish there. Then my weapons are actually doing really good to be fair. I, I don't know what I'm gonna... I don't know what weapon to like go for next. Like, this combination does seem to be working for me. Like, it's got a bit of long range. It's got a bit of close range as well. Oh, I will not say no to that though. 10% critical chance. Yes, please. Uh, swap some life steal for defense. Sounds good. Swap damage for dodge. No, thank you. Right then with my two trees, I think a free carrot and then make carrots better. And then... Let's increase my defense. And when I take damage, there's a chance to drop some water. Nice. All right, then my final weapon is going to be probably the pepper grinder, actually. That sounds quite interesting. Powder random enemies for 20% damage, so not a lot. But 40% chance of lifesteal. That sounds good if it's getting me health. Anyway, yes, night number eight. So we got all these veg to start with. I can't believe I've turned like the, the farm against themselves, the vegetables. There's a mushroom there. And then I'm just going to use this evening to get as much water as I can. Although these are big 
guys with like spears, they're actually quite scary. They're very strong and they just run straight at you. I mean, thankfully my shears do cut them down to size, but like my other weapons seem to struggle with them quite a lot. All right, last bit of water. Oh, I didn't quite get it. There's a big water blob. I couldn't get to it. Maybe if I had more speed, it would have helped. So let's get speed there. We'll increase our pepper grinder. Then we're on to day nine. All right, so let's grab a tree. Let's grab a bush. I've got another tree as well. Over here, there's a carrot. I need all oh, my health, my health. Come on, broccoli. I need, I need the broccoli to heal me. Ah, run, 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 run. Oh, there's so many enemies. Oh, I really don't like the spidery ones. All right, run away, run away. Get that. Okay, okay. Ah, there's so many lasers dotted about now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Run, 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 run. Oh, we got to the end. We got to the end. Oh, that was horrible. That was absolutely horrible. Do I need more speed to dodge them or do I need more damage? I think more damage, to be honest. Plus four on 55. That's actually quite an increase. I uh, don't want to lose HP regen, so I will refund that. Oh, I don't really want to lose speed either. But plus three HP regen. That will put us up to 11 regen, 11 health a second. Yeah, I might have to take that one. And then, oh, higher chance to spawn carrots again. Increase my attack speed at the cost of 3 HP. I think that's worthwhile. And then finally, max out my pepper grinder. So we've got all maxed out weapons now. It's it's a rainy evening. So let's hope we can survive. I just hope there's not too many of those blooming spider sunflowers. I hate them. Absolutely hate them. There's a broccoli there. There's another mushroom over that way. I can't get to the mushroom. Right, there's a carrot as well. All right, and to be honest, I think is tomorrow the last day. So I might not be able to spend any of this water. And as it's raining, I'm going to have a lot of water. So it might be worth just like... Just like re-rolling until I get like good stuff. Okay, oh, we start off with a good upgrade. 10% critical hit chance. So now one in four shots will do double damage. I don't want to swap any of my weapons, so I can skip that for loads of water and a bit of health. Um, oh, and then today's forecast is a clear sky. Okay, so we actually have day 10 to survive first. Ah, blimmin', blimmin' spider things straight away. Good news is I got 300 water I can spend today because it's not actually the last day. Ow, 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 ow. Let's get that tree. Let's get those to help me. All right, run, 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 run. There's so many enemies. Ah! No, too many, too many, too many. Run, 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 run. Oh, I think I survived. I think I survived. All right, broccoli to help me out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, 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 no. There's too many. There's too many. No! <laughs> oh, I died. Oh, that was, that was terrifying. But I've unlocked a brand new character, the Orchardist. So they start off with way different stats. But unfortunately, despite destroying over 5,700 creatures, I couldn't reach the end. But we'll try again next time. For now, I'll say peace, love, and farmers. Bye, guys.